a 1930s Art Deco building which was closed at the end of 1996 when it was finally superseded by the new multiplex down by the riverway and the station. One of the last films the cinema ever showed was the film First Wives Club. And on the 16th of November 1996, a man from Dorking by the name of Roy Taylor was sitting watching the film with his girlfriend Rosemary Crow. About 20 minutes into the film, Roy noticed something strange out of the corner of his eye. He turned to the arm next to him and was surprised to see a gentleman in a long black cape and wide brimmed hat pass by him and... Gentlemen. No boobies. Pass by him and Rosemary Crow walked down towards the screen and straight through it. Roy turned to Rosemary and asked if she'd seen anything she hadn't, so they continued watching the film. And 20 minutes later, it happened again. The, fi the figure in the long black cloak and wide brim hat passed by Roy Taylor and Rosemary Crow down towards the screen and straight through it. This time, Roy turned to Rosemary at the time it was happening and pointed out the figure, but still she could see nothing. So she did comment that the air suddenly felt very cold and damp. And then 20 minutes later, as the film neared its end, it happened one last time. The figure in the long black cloak and wide brim hat passed by Roy Taylor and Rosemary Crow down towards the screen and straight through it. But that was the only time the spectre was seen. And as I say, the cinema was closed shortly afterwards and indeed was demolished at the start of this year. So who knows? Maybe he's picking through the ruins tonight, surviving on nothing more than moldy buttockish buttockish rah rah rah, rah yeah. drinking out-of-date carters of Umbongo and watching constant reruns of Kevin Costner's Waterworld and Pokemon the movie. <laughs> Between here and there is a royal grammar school founded by one Robert Buckingham, a rich London merchant in 1509. A hundred years ago, one of the boy students was amazed to see in the middle of an afternoon one of his father's grooms enter a classroom and then spontaneously disappear. The following morning, a telegram arrived from the boy's father saying that at that exact time the previous day, the very same groom had been killed in a coaching accident eight miles away from the school. Death, will you please kill the person with the mobile phone? It's him! <laughs> I know they bring